Well, my friends, after spending eight plus hours trying to work on getting the exact historical designs of the ships that are most commonly known in the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War II, I was finally able to get a bunch of different famous ships that we're going to be going over today and showing you guys the historical designs behind them and so you can make it inside of Hoi 4. Now, I'm going to be covering these ships in kind of a weird pattern. I'm going to be covering the different ship types starting out from the earliest version of that ship and working our way up. So for our very first ship, we're going to be going over the Akagi Aircraft Carrier. It was actually originally laid down and designed in 1920, and they were in production until 1927, which is why we did the very first hull, which is a 1922 variant. So for the Akagi, you want three deck space, two uh, level two AA, a level two engine, and a level two secondary. You could, if you're playing in multiplayer or actually a very serious single player game, add a dual purpose gun. However, due to the armaments at the time, realistically, that wouldn't be a thing. So this right here should be about the historical design. Even the engine is as close as I can get. The actual engine was 133,000 ship horsepower. So, or just 133,000 horsepower, I guess you could say. So if we were to try to design this ship right here, our production cost would skyrocket and it would be a ridiculous speed. So that's why I just left it with a carrier engine level two because you can't really get too much higher. And that's actually about as close as you can probably get to the 133,000. For our next ship, we're gonna be going over the Soryu aircraft carrier. It was actually first laid down and built in 1938 or correction 34 and was in production until 1937. So for the Soryu, you want three deck space again with a level three engine. The engine for the ship itself in the time was 152,000 horsepower, which is actually accurate for the engine type. And then for the secondary batteries, it did have a lot more batteries than just this one right here. If you're gonna be using it in multiplayer or single player and actually playing serious, I would recommend adding a dual purpose gun to it if you're gonna put it into main production. However, this is the actual class of guns that were on the uh, Soryu aircraft carriers when they were in service or starting to be built in 1934 and 1937. The level 1 AA, that is also the correct AA type, and the engine is accurate, so just three of the deck spaces. Next is the Shukaku. It has four deck spaces. The level 2 AA is accurate along with the engine and the uh, self-propelled gun here, or the uh, secondary batteries. I would recommend, if you can, add a dual-purpose AA. But um, let me rephrase that a little bit. The engine is not actually accurate. The engine itself was at the time 160,000 horsepower. But unfortunately, you can't even get to that with the max engine level, which is why I've got a level three engine. Now, I'm not going to be going over as much detail as I just did for the aircraft carriers through the rest of this video. Instead, I'm going to cover some basic information about some things that seem kind of off. So for our next ship we're going to be covering is the Yamato Super Heavy Battleship. This one right here seems like it is ridiculous. It is a 20,000 production cost. However, this is almost 100% historically accurate. The armor 410 belt with the 233 or 230 meter deck, that actually is the armor that it was in use for the ship at the time. For the AA, you want three of the uh, dual purpose guns and then a level two AA up here. You want three of the type five battleship guns, two level two AA, a fire control system, the highest level you have, because I guess the Yamato at the time had one that isn't even in Hearts of Iron 4, I guess, or something along those lines. But you also want to have a single recon plane. This has a ridiculous 20,000 production cost, I know, but this is as close as you're going to get to having historical super heavy battleship Yamato as possible. Now for our next ship, we're going to be covering the Congo class battleship, which is right here. So I know this one seems kind of underdone, it's really cheap, but this again is one of the closest historically accurate versions you can get. For the engine itself, this is the only thing on here that is not accurate. The engine was a 64,000 horsepower, you can't get down to 64,000 without going too far down, so instead just give it a level 2. For the guns, we have level 1 batteries, we have two of those, we have two level 1 secondaries, again, yes, this is accurate they didn't have dual purpose guns for the Yamato at the time or the uh, Congo so we have two level one AAs a fire control system and we have one of the recon plane or the uh, I guess you can call it whatever the scout plane launcher so again this is probably as historically accurate as you can get with the battleships for our next ship it is the Maiko Miko I'm gonna be honest I don't know actually how to pronounce it there's actually supposed to be an O in here though right about oh no wait a minute there 
ah, whatever. I'll just leave it. You get the idea. It's the Moco or Miyoko, something along those lines. But anyway, it was a 1927 light cruiser that was actually converted into a heavy cruiser. But for the guns on it, it is three level one heavy cruiser batteries. It is a level one AA, level one secondary, level three engine, level two armor. This is the actual armor variant it had, along with torpedoes. The heavy cruisers, mostly for the Japanese Navy at the time, in World War II did have torpedoes. So you're going to see a lot of those on the heavy cruisers. For the Mogami, these started being built in 1931, which is why we have the 1936 version of the uh, hull available for it. So for the guns, you want three level two batteries, one level two torpedo, then you want to have a level two AA, level one recon plane launcher, level two engine, a dual purpose gun, and then the level two armor for the uh, cruiser, not the battle cruiser, the level two armor for the basic cruiser. Next is the tone. Now, the tones were actually produced from 1934 to 1937, but the reason I gave it a level 3 hull is because we already just covered a ship that was designed from about the same time frame. So, instead, here is the tone. It has three level 3 batteries, two level 3 torpedoes, a level 2 recon plane, level 3 engine, level 2 battery, a, uh, a single dual purpose secondary, and then we have a level 3 engine along with a level 2 anti air. Now, all this is historically accurate except for the engine. I believe the engine on there was actually 152,000 horsepower, but realistically, even with the level 3, it's still not even close to that. So, that is the only thing that's not accurate with the Tone Class Heavy Cruisers. Next, we have the Kuma. Now, I've only got one light cruiser here because the Japanese Navy in World War II didn't put too much production into light cruisers, and this is an early cruiser because it was only made from 1917 to 1921. This was actually mostly a ship designed for mine warfare and torpedo attacks, which is why the torpedo attack in mines are such a high level of damage. But because it's a 1921 ship, I believe it was, instead we're just going to go ahead and assign it with the basic 1922 version of the hull. So we have two level 2 torpedoes, level 1 mine laying, level 1 battery, level 1 AA, level 1 fire control, level 2 engine, level 1 secondary, that actually is accurate along with all this other stuff, but the armor itself, the armor at the time was just a little bit under, it was actually a 60 millimeter belt with a 30 millimeter deck that was actually installed for it, so the armor is the only thing along with the engine that's off with this. Or wait, no, the engine is accurate. I'm sorry, it was a 90,000 horsepower engine. So everything except for the armor is accurate about this. Next, we have the Fubuki class destroyer. This was actually in production from 1926 to 1927. It was pretty much an all-around ship. The only thing that's not accurate here is the radar. It did not have any radar or sonar on board. But anyway, I've assigned it a level 2 battery, the 12.7. Uh, that actually is the correct battery that was on the ship at the time, along with torpedoes, depth charges, and the AA. So aside from all that, this is accurate. You want two level 2 torpedoes, a level 1 depth charge, a level 2 battery, level 1 AA, level 2 sonar, and a level 2 engine. The engine itself is accurate, even though it was it's kind of a far off kind of engine, but it was 50,000 horsepower. So that is the correct class for the Fubuki. Next, we have the, I have no idea how to pronounce this class, also known as the Akazuki. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it, just like the Scornhurst. And I probably just made people angry. But anyway, here we have that destroyer, the which will be not named. So this is, again, accurate. It had two dual-purpose main batteries on them. So it's the uh, light battery one. You just go into rapid-fire guns, and it's these dual-purpose battery right here. This is the correct armament it had on it at the time. So we have two of those. We have a level 1 depth charge, level 1 AA fire control system, level 2 torpedo. Then we have a level 3 engine. The engine itself is accurate. Also, the sonar is not. So for this one here, of which will be not named, this is about as close as you can get. The torpedoes itself, it actually had in World War II, I know some people are going to correct me on this, it actually had eight different torpedo launchers. So this is probably about as close as you can get with only having three um, on here aside from if you want to go up a level or something but then I don't know if that's really realistic for multiplayer but really you want as many torpedoes as you can on this since that's what it was designed for. For the Shimakaze it had a 75,000 horsepower engine this is as much as you can get on it unfortunately you can only get up to 52,000 but the speed is about accurate so 
This is pretty close with the guns and everything in the layout. Two level 3 torpedoes, level 3 engine, level 2 depth charge, level 2 sonar, two level 2 normal batteries. It's not the dual purpose one, unfortunately. The correct armament it had for it was these weird, I think it was 12.7 millimeter batteries. So this is the actual, again, batteries it used. If you want an AA destroyer, you might want to go back to the uh, one of which will not be named. So... That is all of the ships the Japanese Navy used that are most common throughout world history when opening a history book and looking at World War II Japanese Navy history. So hopefully this video is kind of fun for you guys and you enjoyed it. I am planning on doing a couple other nations as well, but please go down below and let me know what nations you guys want me to pick next to go over. These videos do take some time and this one itself took about three days of work. So hopefully it was to your guys' enjoyment. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.